Hi, my name is Chris Jackson and I am the delivery manager at MSYS Technologies. Today, I am going to tell you about our latest groundbreaking product, MTAS for Android. We have developed this test automation solution, keeping in mind the limitations of the current test automation tools in the market, the problems faced by QA persons in their testing, and the future needs of the market. In this presentation, I will walk you through the various features of the testing tool, the user interface, and run through testing a sample application. This is the main screen of MTAS for mobile. We have made the UI and the process simple to allow, to allow a fast learning curve for users. The first tab that you see here is Manage Apps and Projects. This tab is used for instrumenting apps and installing them on devices. I will use a sample application to show how the automation process works. First, we'll click Instrument New App, browse for an app on our desktop, and then click the Instrument button. What this is doing is preparing the application to um, record and playback on the mobile device. This process normally takes between about 25 seconds to one minute depending on the size of the app that's being instrumented. So we'll wait here as our progress bar updates until the instrumentation process is complete. Okay, now that I have my instrumented app, I can rename it here if I would like. Oops, click the wrong button. Save the change, and now I'm going to lock the app and click record. So what's happening now is over Wi-Fi devices are being searched for to connect to for recording. So on the mobile device I'm going to go ahead and connect with this server that's running on Windows. We should see the device come up in just a moment here. There it is. So now we're going to record some steps on our mobile device and as we record them they will be reflected on the Windows UI. So let me just log in here. And I see okay. I username let's enter the password and as you see as we do events on the mobile device they are transferred automatically via Wi-Fi onto the screen on our Windows desktop last part of the password and then I sign in this may take a moment because this application is actually over the internet I'm signed in. Now I can make selections here, select different items, navigate the application. Click in edit mode. Make a few changes if necessary. And then when I'm satisfied, I'll just click stop recording on my Windows device. Now we're given the opportunity to save our 
project as a new project or add to existing. Let's call this one Far Care 2. Save. And we're done with recording. Next we'll move on to playing back the actions that we just recorded on the test case. Once we have our events recorded, we are now ready to play them back. As you see here, I have my projects listed. So I'm going to select one that we recorded in the last session, Far Care 2. My device, which was detected via Wi-Fi, is displayed here. I'm going to select it and press Run. Shortly, the playback of the events will start. I'll switch to dashboard view so that as the events are played back, we can see them here in our event log. Notice the yellow badge. That means that a test case is currently running. And here in the upper right corner, we have a summary of the test case activity. For example, if a test case was finished, it would show up as a one here. And uh, one yellow badge means that it's running. Red badge means that the test case failed. And gray badge means that the test case was aborted. So the events are going through as we recorded them and they're being played back on the device. So we'll let that process go on for a few seconds. And then once this wraps up, which should be happening shortly, we'll be able to see the result of running the test case. And we'll also have a nice report of what happened during the test case. Okay. Our test case has completed. We notice the green badge here which indicates success. And now I'm going to click the view report button. This is going to open the default web browser. And notice here we have the summary information at the top, our project name, our test case name, what device it was run on, and the result. Also the execution time. And in addition to the uh, steps that were completed, we have these performance messages. Battery message, memory message, uh, memory allocation. And we can control where this information is displayed before the test, ca test case is run. We can create those performance measurement events. So that gives a wrap up of our mobile automation solution. We showed recording a test case, playing back a test case, and viewing the results. If you have any questions about this or would like to know more information, please feel free to contact us. Thank you and we hope to hear from you soon.